I I want to film again, and this time I'm wearing like my squad crop top. You know, I thought I got an early Christmas present, and actually, so I'm gonna explain something because it has a little story that is very random. So what happened was my mom brother sent and us Christmas presents and we each well me, my mom and my dad got them. Mine I get a feeling Sam or Susie is gonna take over and try to use. At nor the line on the screen, I can't fix them. But what happened was so we got pillows. We got like really, really nice like top quality like pillows and what happened the, the funny story is that uh, they got here in a box and at first we opened it because like we thought it was something mom ordered and then we opened it and she's like I didn't order these because they're pillows from the my pillow guy or something and basically what happened is that uh, at first like, so we looked over the paperwork that came in the box, and all of it seemed like I we ordered it, and we're like, no, we didn't order it. So we were very confused. We actually got worried for a second because we got worried that someone or like that our account got hacked or something, and that someone else ordered them on our card, well, one of my parents' cards or something. And we got kind of worried, but at first we remembered that my mom's brother said something about how he had something coming for us. So basically we decided to keep them, and then like, I, and the plan was that uh, we were going to call, find out if he sent them, and if he didn't send them, we were going to send them back because like, it's not okay that like someone like, potentially hacked our card and so what happened was like, so today this happened like the other day and today my mom called him and he was like oh yeah I sent and then thought there would be something like letting us know oh there wasn't and he apologized for well he didn't apologize because it wasn't his fault but like still like he thought there would be something like with his name on it or something and like some way of us knowing that he sent them. So I got a pillow. It's a really nice pillow. Like like these pillows are like really, really nice. Like top quality, really expensive. And I'm really excited because I never have had a pillow. The thing is that uh, I have two JoJo pillowcases. And they don't fit, like, a giant pillow. Um, and my parents get, like, these, like, king-size pillows. Or, like, they get really, like, these, like, pillows that are too big for it. And so I never had a pillow that fits my Chojo pillow cake. And it's, like, and it fits it perfectly. So I put my Jojo pillow case in the Bows and Cupcakes one. Because I had that one. And I have a super cute one that... Uh, my parents got one time because what happened was they ordered like a JoJo like bedding and, and then what happened was it came with a super cute like a free like pillowcase. It came with the JoJo pillowcase that like went with it so I have two and, and it's on a pillow that's like too big but uh, yeah I got an early Christmas present it was a pillow. And also, that's our strategy, is that in our house, like, the presents for each other, we wait until, like, it's time to, like, open them. But, like, if we get a present in the mail from someone or something, then we go ahead and open it. And, it, and so, like, and also, we didn't know if it was a gift or if it was something Mom ordered. We knew it wasn't something I ordered because I didn't order anything that size also. I haven't ordered anything in a while, and everything that I have ordered is already here, so, yeah. 
from that like at signing the under at signing thing and it's that uh we are getting Susie sooner than we think because basically the original thing and so what we were told this because my mom brother rescued Susie from the freezing cold in the middle of like the streets like I she needed to be rescued. So and he was he's gonna like bring her down here to us and we're gonna like keep her and stuff. Um, but the thing was that he had to get like he has like a truck or like a car or something that he needed to get get it worked on before he can come. And so, like, but uh, we thought it would be, like, like, two weeks from Wednesday or, like, somewhere around two weeks from this last Wednesday. And turns out, turns out he's getting it worked on today. And, and so, depending on that, we might, we don't know when we're getting her. We just know it will be maybe very soon. And that's actually... I'm really excited about what I'm also, like, kind of stressed out about because we are going shopping in a couple of days. And the thing is, is, like, we are going shopping in a couple of days to get things for Susie. So, essentially, we have everything for Susie. And, like... Well, no, what we're getting is that there's two things that we absolutely need, which is a leash or a har like a leash and then a collar or a harness. One of them, we think we have Sam's pink harness still, which I don't know why we switched it or anything. I generally have no clue because it's still like, I, it can, and with that, if that's the case, then we might use it. Yeah. And because it's adjustable, so like it's it fits Sam right now, but we can adjust it to fit her, so we can make it bigger or smaller. Um, and so yeah, like we're very excited, but uh, we're also getting her like a stocking. And my mom and me made like a list last night of what we need to like get her or what we want to get her, and if I want to, we're getting. <laughs> Her. And so on the left we have a leash because we need a leash because she can't go in the front yard unless we get one. And now the nice thing is that we have a fenced in backyard so it's not a problem. We can like she can go in the backyard. We don't have to really like I watch her or anything because she can go out no problem, and we don't have to worry about her escaping or running away. And because, let's put this way, a couple of times Sam did manage to dig his way under the fence, and my dad fixed it to where he can't and by putting things up against the bottom of the fence so he can't. And But he never ran away. Like, that's the thing with Sam, is that uh, he, like, Literally never runs away. He literally like escaped from. He dug his way out from under the fence and literally just went into the garage, garage and like tried to like he he was just trying to come inside. And the thing was that uh, me and my dad were at the store when it happened. I think or a doctor's appointment or something. I don't even remember. Or and. And we, like, get back, and all of a sudden, and, like, we open the garage, like, the garage was open. All of a sudden, and I get out in the car, and I look, and I'm like, wait, how did Sam get in the garage? And so, like, we learned that he dug his way out, but we fixed it, so that can't happen. But then we need a leash or a harness. We're all, like, those we need. And then the rest of the stuff we are planning to get her, which is my mom wants to get her some hair bows. My thing is, I feel like that, yes, it would be really cute, but I also feel like she's just going to destroy them. So, like, like, that's my thoughts on it.
is most likely she's gonna destroy you. Cause she's a puppy. Still, she's not trained. Like, here's the thing, that's why, that's why I, my dad got a shock collar for Sam. And, like, we would never shock him, like, don't worry, like, we were always very safe. It was always on a very low setting, and we get to train him, and I didn't like that idea one bit. Like, we got rid of it. Like, we literally, like, gave it to a family member because um, they... Because they had an animal, animal that like needed, and like I that they needed to train a little bit better, and it like no. But like, I'm, I'm wondering we would all so on the shot collar thing. There were three settings. So there was feet, which is like the first one. But when Jack kind of, like, make a sound, and then he would, like, he would, like, be aware and be like, oh, I shouldn't be doing this. Like, it won't hurt him at all. Then there was vibrate, where it would just kind of vibrate. And then there was shock. But, like, shock, wasn't, like, we always had it on, like, a very low setting. So, like, I, we were always saying he never would put it up very high and stuff. So, like, we were always cautious. With her, we're not going to do that. I will not allow oh, it. Like, that was the thing with Sam. I was kind of like, no. I never liked it, but uh, I did like that with Sam. I had the remote. The remote. And my parents did that because of the fact. So, it started when my dad was going to be the only one to use the remote. But then what happened? And then he made the rule that me or him, only me or him, could use it. And the reason it was because he put it in his pocket one day and basically it kept, like, it, he had something else in his pocket. Like, his, like, little, like, case that has, like, his glasses because he has reading glasses. And it kept beeping and vibrating. So, yeah, it and how we discovered it, we didn't even realize at first. But all of a sudden, Sam would, like, be doing something totally fine, like, eating. And then he would, like, back away from it. And we're, like, something up, up, it's okay. And then, and all of a sudden, we heard it. And then we're, like, oh, wait. Get that remote out in there. But... We're also getting Suzy a stocking. And that's what we have planned. But today I wrapped a last minute gift for her. A can of dog food. You know, like, a good can of dog food. Because Sam, the thing is that we got, like, Sam, like, some, what we always call it good food, but, like, the wet dog food. And he never would eat it. Like, he never liked it. We would go all sorts of brands. Like, we tried all sorts of brands, all sorts of flavors, like, everything we could think of. He just never liked it. Like, he would eat it at first, but he wanted, he never liked it at all. So, <laughs> we... Have, we had, like, a can left over, or, like, a can still. That's, like, I and good, like, it's still good. I'm totally fine for her to enjoy. And I wrapped it up for Christmas because it doesn't expire for a while. And also, um, because we know <laughs> if we were putting, like, today, we were putting the presents out, which... Yeah, like, putting the presents out and, like, kind of what we do is we always have, like, presents underneath the tree, like, ahead of time before Christmas. And the reasoning is because, like, 
we give each other gifts. You know, like, I get gifts for my parents. They get gifts for me, like, I, one thing that I'm confused on is that there were multiple gifts that, like, we put under the tree that was for my mom, apparently from me, and I was confused on that because I'm like, I only got her one thing that I know of. Like, I only paid for one thing and got her one thing. And, and then I brought it up to my dad, and he's like, yeah, I got her a couple of things that... And just listed from you because, um, because I know you were tight on money, and that way she gets a lot for Christmas. And I'm like, okay. I mean, um, now the thing is, is he doesn't remember what any of them are. So we're gonna have some surprises on Christmas, and. So, yeah, but uh, we were putting out gifts and we realized Sam has three. He has three gifts, and, and we're thinking we might do a couple more. Sam, or Susie, has two. She had two. So, uh, I like me being the big sister that I am for them. I freaked out about it. And then, last minute, my dad came up with an idea. He's like, why don't you just, like, take the can of dog food in there and wrap it? And I'm like, that's, that's smart. And give her, her a third gift. So, yeah. Yeah, so we're excited, you know. Oh, to... Yeah, we're excited. And we're getting Susie sooner than we thought. And that's, like, really great. I'm really excited about it. I am a little bit stressed out. Uh, because my mom is being very, like, she's, like, the thing is my mom is being very pacific and picky. And the thing is she's not understanding something, which is we need either a collar or a harness and we need a leash before she gets here and my mom is being so picky about it and it's like my idea was to get her just like get her one her one to start with and then like like that way we have one already here you know for her and then but and then later on when we find the one that my mom wants, then we can get her that, and we'll switch it. Because my mom wants, wants a diamondy one. She wants one that's, like, sparkly. Only, or, like, has some, like, gems on it or something. And, and I brought that idea up to her, and she's like, no, she, she needs a sparkly one. And I'm like, we can get her one later. Like, and so I'm hoping that we find one. <laughs> soon before she gets here because at this point we don't know if she's coming in like the day after tomorrow two days after tomorrow um four days like we don't know when she's coming we just know soon and it's stressing me out So, like, it's generally just stressing me out. And I'm loving this, like, crop top moment. Because I love crop tops. Here's the thing is that uh, the funny thing is, is on how I fell in love with crop tops is that actually what happened was my mom had never liked crop tops. My mom and my sister have never been a fan of crop tops. Um, and so what happened, so kind of what happened with that, uh, something very common in being a dancer is two-piece dance outfits, and most of them are like crop tops. Some of them are worse than crop tops. 
Because some of them only cover up what needs to be covered up. Or, up, like... And so what happened was that uh, I really like two-piece dance outfits. Like, I, I feel like they're great, especially during the summer when it's, like, hot out. Uh, so you're not, like... With the leotard, it's great, and I love the leotard. But they can get hot and sweaty fast. So, like, with a two-piece dance outfit, that's not the case. So, generally, what happened was that I love a, like, good crop top mode. So, one time, me and my dad actually went to Walmart, and we were planning to get some weights for me because my mom was turning into Abby, and I'm gonna have a talk with her about that how she needs to turn back into Abby. What I mean by that is my mom is very strict. Like, she she wants me to succeed and dance. Like, her, her thing, she's like, I, if she, her thing is smart, which is, she's like, if I'm gonna pay a, this much money for dance, you're gonna, you're gonna make the most out of it, okay? You're getting everything you possibly can out of it, and you're going with it. She's like, unless you have an actual physical reason, like an injury, like an injury or, or you're sick or something, and even then you're going to try. Actually, she's not, uh, like, strong about, like, if I'm sick, then she's like, okay. And this is a, a good excuse. And the truth is, I'm the type where even if I'm sick, I'm still going to dance because that's no excuse. And I'm not going to use it as an excuse at all. I'm just going to uh, work with it. And so, and so, luckily, like, it was kind of like a thing. So, basically, when we were at Walmart, I picked out the weights. We got some five-pound ones. Because, um, we don't want the reasoning it becomes my mom. Almost like making me stretch every day for an hour. Or make, like she was on me. And I'm going to have a talk with her about that. Because she stopped. And her stopping, like here's the thing. is I'm the type where I like to be forced. And that makes sense. I like to be forced to stretch. Because if I don't. Uh, and obviously like. I'm. If I don't, I'm not motivated. Like, I feel like I'm the type where if I'm not forced, I don't get into it as much. And I, like, can't force myself. I feel like I have to hear the word from someone else. Like, we're going to stretch or some warm-up conditioning and, like, exercising. Also, also, I'm going to make her, like, make me start doing conditioning, like, not every day, but, like, once a week. <laughs> and the thing is, my mom's the type where if I tell her, like, I, oh, can you make me do this? Then she's going to remind me. Like, and she's going to do it. Like, you know, like, she's going to make me do it. Like, if I ask her to, like, yeah. And, like, it comes to a point where, like, when it comes to dancing, I mean. So, if I'm like, oh, can you make me stretch every day for an hour? She's like, okay. And she makes me do it. So, yeah, she stopped with it. But we, like, got some five-pound weights. And I really love dancing and stuff. Um, so... We were at Walmart, and I'm like, can I, like, get something else? Like, I asked my dad. And he's like, you can get something else. Like, so I, like, because I want, like, the new, like, just like a dance outfit or something. So I picked out a two-piece dance outfit, and he's like, okay. And put it in the cart. So we, like, bought it. And the thing was, knowing my mom wasn't going to like it, because it's basically like a crop top, but worse. Because it literally covers up what needs to be covered up, and that's it. And so, we got home, I showed it to her, I, like, put it on, like, I loved it. And then, at first, she had problems with it. But then, what happened with then, and she kind of tried to cheat it. 
to what she did. This was funny. So, um, since I really seem to like it, and she didn't want to take that away from me if I like it, and if it's a normal thing for dancers. So, what she did was she ordered, like, two, like, dance, like, they're, like, active wear, like, crop tops. Um, and these are, like, super covered ones. Like, they're, like, the most covered you can get. And, like, literally, they're like this. This. This one, I can pull it down more, but it's not, like, I feel like I can completely cover it up, but I like the idea of a crop top, so, and I like that has, like, some ruffles, and I like this. So, then, and she caught them, and then she got high-waisted leg. Now, I love, they're, like, $88 leg. And so, like, there's some expensive leggings. And personally, don't think that, like, I like them, I appreciate them, but I don't feel like they're worth $88. <laughs> and I say this because of the fact that, like, I'm, for me, I'm the type where I don't spend a lot of money on clothes, usually, unless it's squad merch or SEWA merch. And so, yeah, so, like, she got me, like, Highly stood legging, and I immediately saw through it, and went like, she's trying to cheat it and get high, because then it gives me the joy of, like, a crop top, but without anything that is a crop top, like, without, like, having that, like, a crop top look, because it just, like, when you put them together, it looks like, oh, a normal top, and then, like, some leggings. So she tried to cheat it, then when that failed miserably, that failed because I, I usually wear like dance shorts and stuff because they're not as hot and sweaty and they're comfortable. All of my leggings are comfortable, by the way. So what happened was then, and she finally just caved and went like, you know what, uh, I'm not going to take this from her. She... He likes this, so I'm just going to have to sit back and deal with it. And then the first time I wore, like, a crop top out was actually this one for squad tour. And I had a jacket, like, my JoJo one came home in a squad jacket. Because when my mom was, like, kind of annoyed about, but not really. She wasn't really mad or annoyed. She was just kind of like, we didn't discuss this ahead of time, like... Because it was a, like, $40, it was a $40 or jacket, and then, and, like, a $5 bracelet. So, yeah, so basically then what happened was, and so, like, it was a thing, but... Uh, I was shocked that she was okay with it. Like, I specifically bought it for Squad Tour, but I was still shocked she was okay with it. And so, like, basically since then, I just kind of feel like, as a dancer, I love crop top. And I feel like that carrying into everyday life. And I feel like I'm not a normal teenager. I don't live a normal life. My entire life is basically based around my career doing social media dancing and training to be a pop star yeah so like i don't live a normal life and that's okay like Like, literally, my career, my entire life is, like, based off of my career and focusing on that. And then, like, obviously, I do school. Oh, I have been on a, like, Thanksgiving break. That's been a while. It's been a little bit of a break. But it's also been good. And the reasoning was because we were very busy in between decorating the inside of the house like, letting me have a couple of days of, like, a Thanksgiving break since this week, pretty much. Pretty much since this week. 
we didn't have dance. We only had it on Monday and we had it on Saturday. And they, so like, my parents went like, you know what, we'll go off of that and we'll give you like this week off of like no school. Oh, and a Thanksgiving break. And then, like, so basically, like, I do school. I, like, I focus on my career. And that's one thing that I love about homeschool is that literally if I can adjust it to my dance schedule. So if I have to be on Zoom at 10 in the morning on a Friday, and Friday we'll do extra the day before or we'll, like... We'll do a little bit more on a couple days until we equal up to that amount of time, you know, and I can just dance. And that's what my parents kind of in a way wanted, but it's what I wanted. Like, I can, literally, Abby can give me a time um, to be logged on to Zoom and I'll be logged on, on whether it's 10.30 at night or... Whether it's six in the morning, I make it work. Peace out.